Hi, we're making a video today of updating the firmware for the Field Priest Pro Kits. I have the Measure Quick kit, which is an actual extra temperature clamp and air probe. It's not going to matter when doing this process of updating the firmware to matter what you call it for the mapping process. You can call it suction, liquid, whatever. Just whatever it's switched to, is it's going to know in the field piece app that this is going to be liquid here. If I switch it here, it's going to read it as suction. For mapping purposes on the field piece app, it does not matter. Only when you use the Measure Quick app that you want to identify based on its number of what you're using it for for the mapping process. We're going to go ahead and turn this unit on. Go to our probe manager, tool manager. Right now, it's saying this is temperature liquid. It says update available in red over here. Click update available. Click this tool. Down here, you got cancel and continue. Hit continue. Now don't hit anything else yet. There is an update tab there. We're gonna do that after we get this changed to blue. This green light will actually change to blue. So right now while it's on, you can go ahead and pull one battery out. And then for 40 seconds, you're gonna hold down this button. Now if you do less than 40 seconds, the update will not work. If you do more than 40 seconds, that is fine. The update will still work. You can only do one tool at a time. 40 seconds is done. Let off. Now, before you put the battery back in, you want to push down on the button again. Holding the button as the battery is put in, it'll be about five seconds and it should change to blue. There it is blue. Now at the app area, you can hit the update button and it'll start the downloading process of the firmware and the blue will go from solid to flashing. Now this can take about two to three minutes. During this time, you can also go ahead and put the back or the cover plate on. You wanna make sure that you have the round gasket put in there and then that the screw in the back has a little plastic retaining clip. Make sure that you don't lose that. Sometimes those can fall off if you unscrew all the way. It'll just keep going. But it's nice to have that in there when you take your backs off so you don't lose a screw, lose that retaining clip. It's a, it's a pretty small screw. So put this all back together. We're still only at about 50%. All right, update's complete. It'll shut itself off. Hit the OK button. Let's go ahead and turn it back on. Go to the tool manager again. It's picked it up, and now there is no red lettering over here saying update needed or update available. And that's all gone, and you are updated with the firmware.